Hello my friends, how are you doing? Originally I planned for today to make a video on how to get better results with the SD3 model, but I'm not going to do that because the license agreements for the SD3 models is absolutely absurd and personally, just my opinion, I think right now Stability AI has lost their marbles. And as I told you from the beginning, companies, corporations are not your friend they're not your buddy, you're not part of their family, and if they call it open source, it means that you are the test bunny until they reach a point where they are important and big enough so they can charge money, and then it is time to make bank. And I think that is what they try to do right now. So let's have a look. We have the creator's license. It sounds very friendly from the wording, but of course, $20 per month, in this case, even if you run these models locally on your computer. This is ideal for, nice phrasing, creators and developers with less than $1 million of annual revenue, less than $1 million in institutional funding, and then also less than $1 million monthly active users. So basically, I think in the core, this is aimed at startups and online services that try to market and capitalize on these models by allowing people to render with them and train their own models and make money from that. But the way it's phrased, it kind of sounds like everybody who is making even a penny with their model is kind of captured by this. Um, they say all three must apply, but yeah, at another part in the license, they say they encourage artists to use the license like that. I don't think artists have less than 1 million users and institutional funding. So, so far, so bad. But let's look at what you actually get for that money. So when we look at the FAQ of what is included in the SD3 Medium Creator license, it tells you that you're allowed to make 6,000 images per month. That has to be a typo. That can't be what they actually think people create with that, because that is pretty absurd, especially in the bad state that SD3 is in. First of all, for the state the model is in right now, it's kind of pretty rich to ask for money in the first place, because this is at best an early development model that has so many mistakes and prior models are so much better than this. But then to limit it to 6,000 images per month and also who, who can create 6,000 images? Is it the individual user or is it generally for that license? Because if you have less than 1 million users, like 900,000 users, all of them together, only 6,000 images per month? Uh, I don't think that works out. That math is somewhere wrong. I think that might be a typo. Let's look deeper into what the contract, the license actually says. Derivative work. Now, this is an interesting one because derivative work means any derivative work of the software products as recognized by US copyright law. I didn't even know this is protected by copyright law as AI works. And any modifications to a core model and any other model created with its base on or derived from a core model or a core model's output. For clarity, by the way, they point out here, derivative work does not include the outputs of any core model. So as far as I understand that, the images you create with the core model are not falling under the derivative works. However, if you use the images created by the core model to train other models, they fall under this license. Does that also include models that are not SD3 models? Like if you use SD3 images to train SD 1.5 models, SDXL models, things like that. So any kind of model or just SD3 models going forward. And by the way, keep in mind, this is not a one-time payment. This is a monthly payment. So this is true as long as you pay the monthly fee, which also means, of course, that you are bound to that monthly fee 
as long as you want to use not just their models, but the models and also probably the LoRa's that you have created yourself for your own use and for your client's use, of course, because that is also models created based on SD3. Now, here is the really hard and biting burning part of that license. Because under the clause of effect of termination, which means either they terminate the contract with you or you terminate the contract with them, you and your customers must immediately cease using the software products and any derivative work. So the models that you have trained based on their output. Now, to a certain degree, you can understand that. If you think, for example, about software like Photoshop and you pay a monthly fee to use Photoshop and you stop paying this monthly fee, of course, you have to also stop using Photoshop because you're not paying the monthly fee anymore. But here comes the hard part. Because a little bit lower in the same section of the contract agreement, it says also upon termination or expiration, each party will return or destroy the confidential information of the other, including stability software products and any derivative work. So that means when you stop paying the monthly fee to them, you have to not just not use the models anymore. You have to destroy everything you have trained, all the models, all the lures, not just you, but also your customers have to destroy all of these models because you're not paying them anymore. Excuse me, what? What is going on here? And that even like, think about that. It's not just in the case where you say, well, I don't want to use it anymore. Let's say you fall short on your financials with your company and can't pay them for a couple of months. You have to delete the models you have trained. You have to destroy them. Why? Why is it not enough to just say, well, you can't use them for the time being unless you pay us again? Why does this have to be destroyed? That is absolutely absurd. And then there is also another part of the license I find pretty strange. This is about providing your services to customers and users, where it says you will be liable for any acts or omissions by your customers or any users in connection with their use of the software product so you are responsible for what your customers and users do with the models? Why is that the case? Why are they not responsible themselves for what they are doing with that while you're only responsible for how you handle the models? That is pretty strange. So I personally think that all of this is pretty absurd and they need to rethink their license agreement and they need to rethink how they handle their connection with the community. Because what it means right now, especially with the clause that you have to destroy the models that you have trained, especially considering that SD3 is really, really bad at the moment, and you have to put in a ton of work to make it actually usable. So you make that model good with your fine tuning, with your training, and then they hold you hostage with a monthly fee where you have to destroy the models when you're not willing to pay that. That is totally absurd. That is totally a disrespect to all the people that have invested so much time and money to actually make this model good and worth that they can actually be used. But then on top of that, you have to keep in mind that just because they ask for 20 bucks a month right now does not mean they're going to do that in the future. So when you build a company around their models and you have trained them for yourself, for your product, for your customers, and then also have trained models that your customers can use themselves, and then you are bound by this contract and you and your customers have to destroy these models if you don't want to pay anymore, you are hostage. They can charge whatever they want because you're bound by that. That cannot be the reality of how this plays out. 
On top of that, I think they should absolutely rethink where they start to charge because under $1 million annually is kind of everybody. So that seems bogus to me. I think they should honor the small people in the community, which are the people who have done the most and trained the most to make these models better and actually give them quality and value and start at a higher price, let's say 500,000 per year or more and charge there for the companies who can actually afford that and not try to take the money out of the pockets of the small artists and designers who actually are the core, the base that gives the quality to Stability AI and actually build Stability AI because without them, they would be nothing right now, especially as you can see with the state of the models, the core models that are coming out of Stability AI. So I think they have to rethink that. I'm pretty shocked about what is going on right now. And I think we as a community need to make our voices here need to tell them this is not the way, this is not how this can go or should go. They need to rephrase, they need to rethink, and they also need to set the bar of charging higher. Let me know what you think in the comments, but stay reasonable. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.